Some unidentified armed persons hurled a grenade at the residents of Sapam Kunjakishore, also known as Keba, at Terra Sapam Lairak in Imphal last night, but the grenade did not explode. Keba is a member of North East India Development Party and EIDP. Reportedly, the armed miscreants also fired several rounds at the residents, causing damage to the window panes. However, no one was injured during the incident. No group has claimed responsibility so far. Additional Chief Secretary Transport PVIPE today launched a route of Manipur State Transport MSD that will render service on Tangal Imphal Jaujangdek route along the Tongje Maril. Transport Director Dr. Nivedita Lairin Lakpam, BJP Manipur Pradesh Vice President RK Somorjit, and BJP Taminglong President M. Daniel were present on the occasion. BJP Manipur Pradesh held its executive meeting today at Imperial Hall Classic Grande in Imphal. BJP Manipur Pradesh in charge Sambit Patra, Chief Minister Nongthom Bambiren, BJP Manipur Pradesh President Professor S. Kendra, General Secretary Organization for Nagaland and Manipur State Abhay Kumar Giri along with a host of party leaders, workers and MLAs attended the meeting. During the meeting, the attendees paid floral tribute to late leaders of the party. BJP National President J.P. Nada addressed the BJP members via video conference. Nagaland Governor and Interlocutor for Naga Peace Talks, Arun Ravi, in his Republic Day speech indirectly criticised the NSCN for its unrealistic intransigence to forsake the politics of gun. While the Indo-Naga peace remains a deadlock for 24 years, he said despite several political initiatives by the central government from time to time, the talks could not fructify as yet due to unrealistic intransigence of some people who are unwilling to forsake the politics by gun. The governor also said that although there has been no major eruption of law and order problem in the state for some time, the menace of rampant extortions under the guise of illegal taxation continue to take place. 44 Assam Rifles under the aegis of Headquarter 22 Sector AR Headquarter IGAR East celebrated 72nd Republic Day at Damenglong District Headquarters and Tosam Subdivision yesterday. 85 inmates from Children's Home Damenglong joined the unit in the celebration. The commandant unfurled the flag amid patriotic tunes rolled out by the pipe band. The unit also organized a free medical wellness camp at Azuram village of the Tosam Subdivision. 39 Assam Rifles Suknu also celebrated the 72nd Republic Day yesterday. The event was kicked off by unfurling the tricolor. The Assam Rifles presented gifts to ex-servicemen during the celebration. Children of the area planted saplings to mark the day. Ukru also celebrated the 72nd Republic Day at Mini Secretariat. Deputy Commissioner Ukru Joseph Paulin Kamson took the salute of the parade. The DC said despite the serious calamities such as COVID-19 pandemic, the Ukru has succeeded in taking up activities in many spheres. Todd Rating Chalamva SDPO MPS was the parade commander. Amid the tight security, Taubal District Administration celebrated the 72nd Republic Day yesterday at the DC complex Taubal. Our correspondent reports Deputy Commissioner Taubal District unfurled the Indian tricolor at the occasion. Nine contingents took part in the march past led by Taubal Deputy Superintendent of Police A. Calandro. Deputy Commissioner Bandana took the salute. The 72nd Republic Day was celebrated with pomp and gaiety at Tuibong Peace Ground, Turachampur. District Deputy Commissioner Pawan Yadav unfurled the national tricolor and took salute from five contingents led by S. Bijoy Kumar, MPS, SDPO, Turachampur.